Hey guys, Collector Pop is here, it's Friday, and today we thought with New York Comic Con coming tomorrow to Australia, and 3am in the morning to um, Funko Shop for everyone who's waiting with their alarm set, we thought today's video would go through all the pops and what you can grab, and yeah, so it's going to be a long drag maybe, hopefully it's a bit of fun, you guys enjoy it, but this is what we decided to do, so yeah, but first... Me and Gabe, or Gabrielle the Collector, were talking the other day with my old other video, our other video with the um, old retro toys, and I told him that I had a rat trap, but I didn't know where it was. But, mate, I found it. I wanted to show you quickly my rat trap from Beast Wars. It's an awesome figure, and it's so quick to transform, you just, boop, straight in. Now, only one thing. He's missing a leg. I don't know where the leg is, so I've got to find that leg. But yeah, this is one of my favourite Transformer, Beast Wars Transformers when I was a kid. Like I was saying to Gabe um, on Instagram, I had it as a kid and I went on a holidays and my mum wouldn't let me take it and my sister wrecked it. I come home to a broken Transformer. But I got this one, which is now broken as well. But yeah, that's for you, Gabe. Rat trap. Woohoo! Uh, if you guys haven't checked out Gabriel, jump over and check him out. Give him a subscribe, give him a like, like some of his videos. It's awesome. And while you're at it, why not check out some of the other YouTubers? Uh, reseller Jenny, Funko Cassie, Storm Rider, 95 Pop Snaps. Um, who else have we got, Zoe? Uh, who'd you say? <laughs> Did you say Funko Fridge? Funko Fridge. So, yeah, Funko Fridge. Um, uh, Collector Lampsy. Collector Lampsy. We just met him the other day. He's awesome. You should go and watch. He did a. Um, his own pop on the Kobe Bryant, his own custom, and it's sick. It's unbelievable. So go check out Collect the Lampsy for sure and check out that video. That was sick. We watched, I watched that last night. Did you watch it? Yep. Yeah, you watched it. Yeah. We both watched it. It was awesome, dude. So yeah, so yeah, give some Australian YouTubers some love. All right. Oh, I've got something else to show you quickly too. I already showed this pop yesterday, but we got another one. So may as well open it up and show you guys again. It is double wrapped, and this came from Funko Bra 05 on Instagram, all the way from America. Uh, check this guy out, he's awesome, and this, this I got so, so, so cheap. I, I couldn't believe how good it was. I think it was $90 shipped, wasn't it? Yep. $90 shipped it was. And wait till you see what it is, guys. Oh my goodness. It's trashing it. It is... Another con stickered Mikey from the SDCC, ninety dollars shipped. So guys, packaged pristine. It's in a hard stack. It was double bubble wrapped in a solid as box. Had more padding in there. Unbelievable packaging. So thank you, Funko Bra 05. Guys, check him out on Instagram. He's awesome, and he ships to Oz. He's a legend. Thanks again, dude. Appreciate it. All right, so let's get into this. Three minutes in already. We'll leave that there. Just, I just like the brag. There he is again. <laughs> All right, so New York Comic Con 2020. Let's get into it. So the first couple of pops we've got are from Show Only. Mm, I really wanted this pop, but it's going to be near impossible unless I want to pay an arm and a leg. But he's second. But the first one is Young Ben from uh, Umbrella Academy. He's bloody, and he is a 2,000 piece. Now we should chuck a photo up too with um, everyone. So for show only, we'll have the two pops up and then so on and so forth. So yeah, Young Ben Umbrella Academy, 2000 piece. And then number two, we have Snake Pliskin from Escape from New York. That's the one I really wanted out of everything in here. He was the guy and of course I had to make him a thousand piece, didn't they? So I'm looking at 400 plus on eBay if I want to get that guy. So I'm pushing him back a little bit. So yeah, that's from show only. Now from Amazon, there's four pops. And we have first, Jimity Cricket from Pinocchio. And then number four pop, we've got the child with a pendant from Star Wars. Um, and then number five, we have Robin Sparkles from How I Met Your Mother. Cannot stand that show. 
I don't know what it is about that show, but I just cannot stand it. And then we have our physique, I think it is. Fezzik. Fezzik. He's a six inch pop, and he's from the Princess's Bride. All right, and then, so that's Amazon done. And then there's one from Bam, and that's Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. Don't know who that is. Never watched Harry Potter. Probably never will. I know a lot of people love Harry Potter, so I know a lot of people like that pop, but it's not for me. All right, number... All right, so now we're at Barnes and Noble. There's two pops at Barnes and Noble, and we have first off Wonder Woman from what's that? Uh, WW84. I think it's Wonder Woman 84. That's what the box said. I seen a picture, and that's what it said. Oh, oh Zoe with the knowledge! Look at this. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, back to this. She's glow in the dark. That's yeah. cool. All right, Zoe went to a lot of effort to make this video too. She's written everything down. She went through everything. It took her ages, so I hope you guys appreciate that. Thank you, Zoe. I was stuffing around with a Ninja Turtle <laughs> costume while she was figuring out this all, all this stuff. All right, so next we have, still from Barnes & Noble, we have Venomized Magneto, and it's Venom. He looks pretty cool. Yeah, he did look nice. All right, and then... From Box Lunch, now there's a pop in here I reckon everyone would have wanted to get and it would have been hard to get and would sell out very, very fast. Yeah, first one we have Zombie Daredevil from the Marvel Zombies line. And then this is the one I was just talking about. We have Carl and Ellie from Up, from the movie moment, painting the mailbox and it's, and it's awesome. It looks awesome, that, that scene they're doing there. They did a really, really good job on that. Right, the next one is one that we need to, to fill our collection for flocks, and that is uh, Growlithe from Pokemon. Obviously, he's flock. Hey guys, we're back. Sorry, someone called us and it cut out the call, uh, the recording. I don't know why it cut that out. So we, that just to read back, that was Growlithe from Pokemon, and he's flocked. And that's all from Box Lunch. Those three. All right, so from Entertainment Earth, we have first off. I don't know why they did it in this order, because that's not how it's said, but we'll go with it. First off, we have Barnacle Boy from Spongebob. And then we have Mermaid Man from Spongebob, but it's supposed to be Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. So I don't know why they did that, but that's cool. So yeah, that's Entertainment Earth. All right, and then there's one pop from FYE. And that is probably another pop that a lot of people will like to get and love. Not one I'd like. Maybe Zoe might like that one, but not for me. And that is Stitch as the Baker from Lilo and Stitch. It honestly does look pretty cool. And whatever that trifle cake thing he's got there, looks pretty tasty. I'm not going to lie. All right, now moving on. We are at GameStop now. Now there's a few pops from GameStop. And first we have Ian, is it? Yep. Ian from Cowboy Bebop. And it's flopped. And it comes with a t-shirt, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then we have, also from uh, GameStop, Beetlejuice, as, or from, Beetlejuice. <laughs> nice and easy. And now, now we're getting into Zoe's Pops. This is a pop Zoe really wants to get. You want to call that one out? Yeah, it's Werewolf Bot from The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. The Simpsons! Also, I've got my, did I tell you I've got my New York shirt on to go to the New York Comic Con? New York Knicks. Woo! As if they did New York Comic Con and didn't bring out a Ninja Turtle pop. When they're from New York, what are they doing? Anyway, back to this. So yeah, what was that? Werewolf Bart. Werewolf Bart from? Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Woohoo! And then we have... Yep, <laughs> help me out. Uh, Kaguya... Kaguya... Otsutsuki. Otsutsuki! From Naruto! Holy dooly, how do you say that? We have no idea. And then, she looks pretty cool though. And then we have Beast Man from Masters of the Universe. What's that say? 10 inch. That's a 10 inch pop. Yep. Whoa, now this next pop looks unreal. Honestly, we saw it on a turntable, out of box, and it looks unbelievable. And that is... This one. You go for it. Miles Morals from Marvel Street Art, and he's a six inch. Now, I don't really like Marvel, but this pop, this this um, Street Art pop looks mint. Honestly, it looks mint, mint, mint. All right, and then that's that. That's GameStop done. I am spitting everywhere. I'm getting too excited. <laughs> Keep it in your mouth, Rod. All right, so now we're at Hot Topic. Now, Hot Topic, we have 
Nightwing from Batman. Now, I love Batman, but who the hell's Nightwing? What is it? What happened to Batman and Robin? I don't know who Nightwing is. Is it a Robin spin-off? I don't know. But he looks cool. And then we have Mr. Compress from My Hero Academia. No idea about that anime, never seen it. And then, whoa! We're back on a Zoe Pop. This is a pop Zoe really wants. And a pop that Jordan from Half Baked Comics really wants. Happy birthday, mate, for the weekend if you're watching. We have Comic Book Guy from The Simpsons. Comic Book Guy from The Simpsons. And he has a comic book which says, what does it say on it again? I think it says Bongo or something. Bongo on it, yeah, I think. He's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool pop. So we'll probably definitely be trying to get hold of that for Zoe. And then we have uh, the Red Goblin from Marvin. Up uh, Marvin. From Marvin. From Marvel. He looks pretty cool. Not a pop I'd like. I'm not really into Marvel, but he still looks cool. Oops. And then we have... Junjitu. Junjitu Suichi. And we don't know where that's from because the box was not in English. Is that that one? I couldn't read it. Yeah, we couldn't read. We don't know what that, that line's from. So if you guys know where Junjitu Chuchuyachi is from, we've, we've bloody butchered that name, I can guarantee you that. But if you guys can help us out where that's from, that'd be cool because we do not know. Uh, we probably could have researched it, but we didn't. All right, so that's Hot Topic done. Next, we have Target. Now, this first pops for our collection as well. We will want to get the, 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 the complete our set so far. And that's Pikachu from Pokemon. He's flocked and he looks cranky. I, he, I don't think that's a day you want to mess with Pikachu on that day. He's, something's really upset him. And then we have Danny Phantom from, guess what? Danny Phantom. <laughs> Pretty easy and done. Ooh, and then we have Beachhead from G.I. Joe. Now, he's a cool looking pop. He's got his gun, he's got his mask on. I love G.I. Joe. It's awesome. He reminds me of a Fortnite character. Whoa, don't say that. <laughs> oh, you'll get us kicked off YouTube bringing up Fortnite characters. I don't even know if we should say the one coming up. All right, so that was Target done. Now, we are at Toy Tokyo. And we have first Ninja. From Masters of the Universe. You left an E off there. Oops. <laughs> and then we have... King Hiss. King Hiss from Masters of the Universe. Alright, turning over. Where's the cans? We must just do the cans now. Where were they? Because they're from Tokyo as well. So we do the, we'll do two of the cans that are from Toy Tokyo. Which is... So it's Spycore. So the first one is Spycore from Masters of the Universe. These also come as a chase as well, so you've got a chance of getting a chase out of these guys as well. And then the next one is... Um, I think it's Envy Adams. Wait. Yeah, yeah it yeah, is. Yeah. It's Envy Adams from Scott Pilgrim. And her chase is metallic. Yeah, she has a metallic dress and she's 500 piece. <laughs> Look at her go. Look at her go. Woohoo! Ding, 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 ding. All right, awesome. Good work, so. Eh? All right, so now we are back over the page. So that was all Toy Tokyo. They've got two of those Funko cans, soda cans. We're at Walmart now. And we have, obviously, another Office Pop that I don't understand. I've never watched it, and I never will. So I, I, I just cannot stand Steve Carell. I don't know why, but I just want to slap him every time I see him on the TV. We have Dwight Schrute from... I think that's what it was. I heard someone say it. I don't know if that's what he's from, but they said Reclops V3. Re so I think that must as, be what he is. As, yeah. re as Reclops V3 from The Office. Yeah. And then we have... Now, this pop, everyone's going to be running out there, lining up. Everyone wants this pop, no doubt. I know everyone wants it. <laughs> don't deny it. Everyone wants this pop. We've got Bash from Fortnite. Don't lie, guys. I know you love your Fortnite pops out there. Let's go. All right, so that's all from Walmart. Now we're moving on to the Funko Shop. Now, from the Funko Shop, we have the Joker as the Joker. Now that's a breast cancer pop, I'm pretty sure. And that's pretty cool. I, I really like that pop. I'll be trying to get that, hopefully, if, unless it's mine. It's probably already sold out, but we'll find out tonight. And then we have um, the Casey's pop that she really wanted to get. The Burrow and Molly Weasley from Harry Potter. It's a 10 inch. That pop looks massive with that house. Like I said, I don't know anything about Harry Potter, so I don't I have no idea. But yeah. 
people want it, which is cool. And then we're getting on to some, a couple of ad icons here. We've got Captain Crook from Mickey D's. Ad icons, he's pretty cool looking. And then we have Dum Dum's Drum Man. Dum Dum's Drum Man from Dum Dum's. He's another ad icon, that's pretty cool. And then now these other two pops are pretty cool. I wouldn't mind these, just, just for the, um, I'll get to it. So the first one is Paulie the Pigeon and his um, two color versions. Now I'm pretty sure one of the color versions is a piece, a limited piece. I'm not sure how many piece, but I'm pretty sure it is. And the same as the pizza wrap. Now I want the pizza wrap just for that slice of pizza. That is sick. And he has two color versions as well, and he's also a piece pop. But once again, I'm not sure how many pieces would be either a thousand or two thousand, or maybe two thousand five hundred. I think. All right, and then we have from Huckleberry Hound, Dixie and Pixie. Now they are fully sick, and I love them a lot. One's red shirt, Dixie's red shirt. And Pixie is blue shirt, and they're cool. Old retro cartoon show, love it. Now these last two pops do not interest me at all. Storm Rider, probably interests you, mate. And Patrick from over at Pop Up Shop. These are your guys' pops. And that is Luke Skywalker from Star Wars and Princess Leia from Star Wars, and they're both in their training outfits. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, all I know is they kiss and then they found out they're brother and sister. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> all right, moving on. They've also got stands, like. Yeah, I think all the Star Wars pops come with stands. Oh. See that? See how his baby child's got one too. Oh, yeah. All the Star Wars pops come with stands. I'm pretty sure. All right, and then the last but not least, one soda can was nearly the best soda can released, but no, it's not because Bebop just got. I was just told Bebop's coming out, so now that's number one pop soda ever released in the world, universe, galaxy, ever, ever, ever. Bebop is the sickest pop can soda can ever, and I'm getting it. And I'm going to get it and get it, get it, get it, get it until I get the chase, hopefully. But anyway, moving on, we have Freddy Funko, um, and he's here comes as a chase as well, which is a green shirt, which is 800 pieces. <laughs> oh, that's going to be hard to get, guys. And then the other one, this one's pretty cool. It's She-Ra. And the, and the Princess of Power. And she has a chase too, and her chase is a glitter chase. And I don't know if you guys have seen it. I don't know, can we find a picture of that maybe? Yeah. We can try and find a picture of that, but that glitter chase looks unbelievable. And I'm pretty sure it was the first ever glitter soda they did. First ever glitter soda, so that's pretty cool. And how many pieces is that? Uh, it just said AP, I don't know what that meant. Oh, yeah, so we're not sure about how many pieces that is. But yeah, guys, that's the New York Comic Con 2020. So, um, drop down below what what you... Whoa, what are you doing? What popped you guys really want to get out of that? I want to know what you guys want to get. And let's share it together. And um, yeah, let's get chatting about this. Pretty exciting. So don't forget, if you just want to jump on the Funko at shop, tonight, 3 a.m. it goes live. 3 a.m. I'll be ready. I've got my popcorn. I've got my soda can. I got, what else we got? Peanut butter sandwiches. We got caramel Tim Tams. Um, that'll probably do it, I won't sleep again. So yeah, we'll be ready to go. Hope you guys are ready to go. Let's have a chat in the comments about everything. What you guys think's cool, what you guys want. And let's make it happen, guys. And don't forget, tomorrow, I think it goes live nine? Nine or 10, I can't remember. I'll find out. But no doubt I'll find out, it'll be all over the place. But yeah, getting excited, guys. So don't forget, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Woohoo! ding a ling a ling notification bell. And everyone that's already subscribed, thank you guys. New subscribers, thank you guys. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all the messages you send, all the love. Thumbs ups, awesome. I love to see it. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next episode after New York Comic Con with information about what we got.